<laughs> Look at this guy, he's having a blast. Having yourself a little fun, are you? Huh? Enjoying your time? That's it, you just sit there and relax, chill. Is that one? Oh, I thought that was one up there. So yeah, how we doing guys? Now, recent videos that I've uploaded talking about World War II, talking about things that I would like to see and re my reaction to the World War II multiplayer revealer and stuff like that. Um, it would appear that a lot of people are excited. Most people do feel that it's a, a move in the general direction that they want it to go and a feeling of it's about time. You know, we've had our three years of space, aerial flying, advanced movements. Now we want some boots on the ground. People asked for boots on the ground and Sledgehammer said, OK, we will deliver. However, looking back into the comments section when I read through them, I do see a lot of people and I mean a lot of people. I would probably say I would probably probably say about 30% of the comments are people saying it's just going to be too campy people are going to camp it hard and I get this you know I understand that sentiment because I've been by the way gameplay in the background Black Ops 1 horrible gameplay in this gameplay you'll see I am trying to infiltrate a room that is full of people camping and me being the player that I am unfortunately I'll get overly aggressive I don't think things through I'm not that much of a good player where I can think okay what I'm gonna do now is this that and the other I just go I've got to get in there and I've got to flush them out and my rage takes over and when you get angry you make mistakes it's like a boxer you know if he's fighting somebody who's goading him that's what it feels like in this that they're goading me the reason the other fighter does it is because he wants to get a rise out of that person and get them aggressive and get them to start swinging for everything they have and make mistakes and that's exactly what I do so everything these guys wanted to do by sitting in this room and claymore camping and looking out of windows and sitting there in corners and oh it's just the worst kind of people to play against they catch me out practically every single time and I just don't learn my lesson I keep going back and I keep feeding them more so more for me silly boy but um, yeah I just wanted to use this gameplay to highlight this now most people are concerned about the lack of advanced movements the fact that everybody now is used to with advanced warfare with black ops 3 and with infinite warfare people are used to having you know people want to move around this is the thing that it's done the advanced movement has done to the game it's made people want to fly it's made people want to run and jump and run along a wall out of view and jump and surprise people and spray them from above and give everybody that surprise element boots on the ground won't it won't accommodate that I don't believe I don't know I don't know what many of them I don't know any of the maps I haven't played the game so I don't understand the flow and the rotation of the maps I don't understand how they work but what I would imagine is is that if they are basing it on real life environments then it's gonna encourage a lot of camping and I am my sentiment is the same as these people who've been writing in the comments section that they are really concerned about the camping now as I've said before in the past I can slate off campers as much as I like but I can go back to when I started playing I used to camp it a little bit because I just I just didn't know what to do you know I'd see people at the top of their game moving around getting kill after kill calling in harriers and my view was the only way I would get streaks was to sort of just camp them out a little bit you know I've got to get a harrier if I get a harrier um then sorry if I get an airstrike a bigger bone if I get an airstrike it might lead on to my chopper and then I might feel a bit more confident to move around because I've sort of I've acquired the goal that I'm aiming to get that was back then that was back in Call of Duty 4 where first person shooters weren't as popular as they are now more people play them they are more popular than ever so you you would like to think that people are like you know what I will go out there and I don't care so much and I'll give it that I'll give it everything I've got and I'll get out there and I'll move around and if I die I die and if I don't then brilliant I don't think that's going to be the case I think that people are going to be very susceptible to sitting around and hiding behind this that and the other and waiting for people to hove into view and mowing them down without a care or a thought I don't know what sledgehammer are going to do to discourage that I don't know whether they've got I've talked in the past 
asked about camping and I said that there should be a there should be a thing where if a player sits in one position for too long then he becomes available to everybody on the UAV or it sort of sends out a signal or people can almost hear the team speak a little bit more so if he's sitting in one place then maybe if you've got your headset on you can hear somebody talking to themselves and giving their position away I, d I don't know but I would like to think that Sledgehammer would try everything they can particularly in the map design to stop that from happening so much because the problem with maps the way they are now is that every single corner and every single turn has something facing it like a wall or a box that is at neck level that somebody's always standing behind and they catch you out they catch you out every single time and it is hard to deal with you know i suppose at least with the advanced movements you can you know sort of see somebody shooting you and maybe use that quick decision to jump and fly through the air and get the better of them and get more of an aerial view where they're more exposed whereas in i think in cod world war ii we're going to struggle with that especially with the gameplays that i've seen it's very dark there's a lot of dark places dark places dark corners dark turns dark rooms is gonna is gonna um is gonna result in a lot of surprises so i hope i'm wrong there i hope i've got that very very wrong i hope there is something that sledgehammer can do and maybe somebody's heard something maybe somebody who was out there playing this game at e3 can come back and say do you know what it didn't feel campy there's too much in the maps that you know you can get around the back of people who are trying that tactic or maybe the spawns flip around a lot so it can't be the case where you can stay in one place and just know that you're automatically going to be taking people out coming from that end of the map with the three lane system unfortunately just keep coming just keep coming guys you know cannon fodder hopefully the map fluidity is going to be good enough to not allow that to happen that's one of my biggest concerns and that is the one thing that i see in the comment section popping up every now and then and it is going to be a big game changer for a lot of people to encourage them not to purchase the game it's quick pro quo it's vice versa isn't it you know <laughs> you do sort of get in that mindset of thinking well every time i go through that room i get murdered so i'm not going to go into that room but i will stay here because every time they come into this room they get murdered let's see who uh let's see who commits first it becomes more of a battle of wits dim wits i suppose so yeah let me know is that one of your concerns and if you do think that is one of your concerns then what do you suppose they can possibly do about it because we are going to be having the beta soon and obviously you would like to think that they're going to take the feedback on board and i think that if the maps are catering too much to people hiding behind stuff and waiting for people to step out they can change all that you know they've changed maps before i've said this before maps have been altered maps have been altered two years into a game think of modern warfare 2 with the whole I don't know what was it some Muslim sign that was in a bathroom that said God is love and the Muslims were up in arms because they were disgusted that something symbolizing God should be in a toilet area and they just took it out thanks for watching guys let me know what you think much love apocalypse done